Hello, Nance. I don't expect you'll be surprised to hear this because you probably won't recognize my voice. I practiced this thing a little and it uh, didn't sound like my voice at all. Anyway, sweetheart, this is your wondering hubby, Johnny. I'm finally leaving tomorrow sometime for Berlin. Should arrive there about the middle of October, I guess. I've had a wonderful time the last 20 days in New York, and I have my Miss Spoker to thank for that. They were perfectly grand to me in every way, Nancy, and I know that they've all been uh, waiting for you to come here, as they're anxious to see you and, of course, our little Gregory. You should be about eight months old now, because I figure you won't be here until about the middle of December. Wonder what he looks like. Uh, has he kicked you in the shins yet? There are many things I want to say, but rather than embarrass you in front of all these people, I guess I'll tell you all about when you get to Berlin. Uh, I've, I've tried to do everything that was within my power to make your trip and your stay in New York easier and more comfortable. Uh, you'll find my family very anxious to make you feel at home, too, so uh, don't hesitate asking for a favor here and there. This recording stuff is quite the nuts, isn't it? Someday I guess we'll get a gadget like this, yes? Well... Uh, kiss Greggy for me and many more for yourself. To the Sykemans, the Gollumstocks, the Maxims, and Rini and Joey, I want to take this opportunity to thank you very, very much for the most pleasant 20 days I spent in New York. So long about... until Christmas of 1947. Bye-bye, Nance.